Hey everybody, this is Peter Hafner, Certified Financial Fiduciary, and thank you for joining us again on another video on our series on how to overcome uh, the many and various retirement challenges, the challenges we face as we make the transition from working to retiring. And today what we're going to do is we're going to focus on the investment strategy that we use with the people we work with and in my own account to overcome many of these different challenges. So to get started with this, what I want you to do is just imagine, uh, think about the statements you get from your 401k, from your IRA. Every time you get one of these statements, it's got a pie chart like this, right? It shows you the percentage you have in stocks, bonds, and cash. It might divide it up a little bit more and show you international or the various investments. Um, but essentially, it's got everything lumped together as a wedge in a pie. And, you know, that, that's great, especially during the accumulation phase when it's really pretty simple to do the investing. But once you get to the distribution phase and you're taking money out of your investments, this is not sufficient. This is not enough. And what I suggest you do is take a different perspective when you're looking at your investments. And I think you should break up those wedges into distinct uh, segments, okay? And you need a firewall built between each one of them. Total separation. You need a written plan that outlines each one of these segments and its purpose. And I'll help you figure out what the purposes are. But first, I also want you to think about it this way. In addition to being segments, let's just think of them as buckets. So what we've got here is we've got a bucket plan. We've got a bucket plan to protect you from stock market volatility, recessions, bear markets um, throughout your retirement. And the way this works is we've got three buckets and each bucket has a different job. And each bucket essentially uh, provides protection or income for a specific period of time. This is the way to look at your investments. So this first bucket here, we call the now bucket. And the reason we call it the now bucket is because this is the bucket we use to put the money into your account that you need every month once you retire. I mean, just imagine this. Once you stop working, the paycheck stops, right? So how are you gonna pay your bills? Where's the money gonna come from? Maybe some of it'll come from social security, but that's not enough. Some of it will have to come from your investments. So what we need to do is we need to put enough money in your now bucket so it'll cover 12 months. We need to put enough money in your now bucket so it'll cover the first 12 months of your retirement. So what we do is we actually send an electronic deposit to your bank account every single month every month. And we say it's cash in the uh, now bucket. That's not exactly right. It's really guaranteed investments. So they can take a number of forms. Uh, but most typically what we do with the people we work with is we use a money market account. Think about this too. Money market accounts, they're great because if everything goes down, they're not going down, right? But they also don't pay much interest. The safest investments have the least amount of growth or dividends. So we want to have enough money in the now bucket, but not too much money. Because if you put too much in there, you're going to have no growth. And if you don't have enough growth, you can get stuck on a fixed income. We don't want to do that. So that's how the now bucket works. But think this through with me too. You're good for 12 months, but every month you're taking money out of your now bucket and sending it to the bank. So after six months go by, you've only got six months worth of money left, right? And after you get to the 12th month, there's no more money left in your now bucket. So that could be a problem, but it's not for you because you've got your second bucket, which we call the soon bucket. And the soon bucket, we say is bonds in it. But really what you want to have in your soon bucket are low volatility investments. You don't want guaranteed investments because they pay almost nothing in interest. Low volatility will give you some amount of growth and some amount of interest and dividends. Not a huge amount, but they'll give you some. And more importantly, the purpose of the soon bucket, there's really two purposes. Number one, we need to use it to refill the now bucket periodically. We don't want it to run out of money. So we need to keep an eye on the now bucket. And when we're getting down to only being able to make two or three or four more deposits to your bank account, what we want to do is take some money out of the low volatility soon bucket and top off the now bucket back up to 12 months. That way you're not just, you're always good for 12 months. You're essentially always good for the next 12 months. Riskless, guaranteed investments. And that's why we need to have low volatility investments. The reason we need low volatility is so we can put money in the soon bucket, but also 
that protects us from the stock market. So think about this. The last time the stock market had a big crash was back in uh, 2020 when the COVID crisis started. Stock market went down 30 some percent in about six weeks. Devastating. You know, if you got to sell those shares to put money in your now bucket so you can get it to your bank so you can pay your bills, that can be devastating. We've talked to that about that in earlier videos. But if you've got low volatility investments, they often go up when the stock market goes down. You've probably heard the stocks and bonds are inverse to each other. When the stock market goes down, the bonds often go up. That was our experience last year. Our bond portfolios did pretty well last year when the stock market was down. So that's how the soon bucket works. The soon bucket allows you to refill the now bucket and it protects you from the stock market. But if you're using the soon bucket to refill your now bucket and you do it every year, how much money do you need in your soon bucket? Well, we like to have seven to 10 years. And the reason we like to have seven to 10 years of the ability to refill our now bucket is because that what that does is it gives you enough time for the stock market to run through its cycles. If we look at the two longest cycles in the last uh, 70 years or so, it took a little less than six years for the stock market to go from all time high to crash, start to recover and finally recover, go back to new highs and finally a new bull market. A little less than six years. So if you've got seven to 10 years of ability to refill your now bucket from your soon bucket, you've really got pretty good protection from the stock market. But again, after some time goes by, the money in your soon bucket will be down. And this is where our last bucket comes in. We call this the later bucket. And the later bucket, yes, it has stocks in it usually, but it's really growth. Okay, so you can use whatever kind of investment you want but you need to have growth investments. You need to have investments that can outpace inflation. That is critically important because the soon bucket will protect you from the stock market, but it's the later bucket that will protect you from rising inflation. We'll be able to put more and more money into the soon bucket because of the growth opportunity in the later bucket. So that's how this all works. Now bucket covers you for 12 months, guaranteed investments very low interest rates, but that's okay. That's not, we don't have money in there to make a lot of money. It's to give you protection. Soon bucket, low volatility, but not no growth. Gives you protection from the stock market so you can refill your now bucket. And then finally, we've got the later bucket, which protects you from getting stuck on a fixed income and allows you to fill your soon bucket when the stock market's doing really good. So that's pretty much it. I hope you found this useful. Thanks for joining us and have a great day.